This keyboard sounds awesome. Check this out. It doesn't sound like this out of the box. I already lube all the switches before. I'm using the Cherry MX Silver switches, the speedy switches. And this is the Ducky 1-2 Mini 60% keyboard. But after a little bit lube, it just sounds really, really good. I really like it. But today we're gonna share with you guys something even more interesting. The Ducky 1-3 Mini. So this is the 1-2 Mini successor. So today we're just gonna compare these two keyboard and share with you guys what's the difference between these two keyboard because they are using the same switches, all Cherry MX Silver switches, and we have a Quack Mechanic on the newer version. So what the heck is Quack Mechanic? We're just gonna compare it and share with guys and do some sound test. So first of all, we're going to do a quick unbox. Okay, this is a cool color. This is like a sporty Nike color. Okay, some user manual guide, some docky sticker inside, and we have some additional special keycaps. A USB type A to type C cable, cool color keycap holder. We have hot swappable switches on this keyboard. So we have a switch releaser clipper. I don't know what it's called, but you know what I'm talking about. Holy, it sounds good already out of the box, but it's just different. It's not that smooth compared to the already lubed Cherry MX Silver switches. Actually, I love both of them. A different feeling, this is definitely smoother after lubing, but the newer one is a little bit like some sand inside your switches, that kind of feeling. The newer version right now, because without any lube, the spring sound is a little bit too loud. A little bit of painting at the end. And the keycap releasing sound is so much better than the Docky 1-2 Mini the mechanic, I think there is something inside us a little bit different. So releasing the key, the keycap sound. Definitely louder in like higher pitch. Yeah, so the releasing sound on the spacebar on a newer version sounds more pleasing right now. Wait a minute. The function looks a little bit different. So the old Ducky 1 2 Mini, the WASD, if you use function key with WASD, it's a mouse control. So you can use your computer without a mouse. But on a 1 3 Mini, I think they just took it away. We have some media control over here. We have volume control over here. Well, 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 we have some good news over here. So if you want to control 1 2 Mini mouse control function, you just press function and you can control your mouse control. But on the Ducky 1 3 Mini, it's in the second layer of function. So you need to press function and alt, then you can control your mouse control. So it's in the second layer, just press another additional alt key to control your mouse control. God bless, it's still inside this keyboard. The function position is a little bit different on the Docky 1-3 Mini, but I already used to the old layout on the 1-2 Mini. So we can use macro and we just remap the function you want to the position you want. So this is really highly customizable keyboard. So that's why I love Ducky because we can remap everything, but because Ducky already print lots of functions onto the keycaps. So if you remap your location, the function's locations, you need to just remember where did you remap. So the looks is a little bit different. The one three mini looks a little bit like special, like sharper edge in the one two mini is a little bit smoother. So the edge is a little bit different over here. Backside is a little bit different over here. And the USB-C, the newer version is inside the keyboard and the older version is outside the keyboard. So on the older version, it's easier to see the type C port and just plug it in, but it's a little bit wiggly because no any support on the side. So on a newer version, it's harder to see the actual USB-C port. So you just like uh, put your cable and just like, okay, 
it's in, but it's a little bit more secure. Less play because we have walls at the side. So if you bump into something, your cable will not just put all the stress onto the USB-C port. So the bottom frame design is a little bit different. So the like the rubber feet it just stick out so much more on the Docky One Two Mini, the older version, and compared to the newer version, rubber feet it just like integrated into the frame. So more sleek design, more travel friendly because they just stick out less. On the older version, we have a huge bump over here. On the newer version, we have like. A, totally flat design so the newer version looks better and the newer version it's like eight millimeters wider than the older version so slightly wider design so overall the one three mini looks a little bit thicker but actually it's totally the same height compared to the one two mini make sure to check out my keyboard channel called in front pc it's everything about hardware in front of my computer so like keyboard mouses switches controller that kind of stuff send some love and support over there so this is the end of this video if you like this video press like follow me on all kinds of social media you can subscribe my youtube channel if you want to to check out more future content happy content like this and this is the unboxing playlist make sure to check it out my name is kai Yuan, and i will see you guys next time bye bye